Okay, and so these are going to be mounted like this to these holes. Oops, sorry. Mounted like this to these holes. Okay. And if you take a look at how they are done here, you can see the spacers and how they're mounted. So basically we're just going to take the spacers, put them through here, put the nuts on, put them loosey-goosey first. And you got to be careful here because you're very, very close to these circuits, close to the LEDs and the sensors. Um, as we tighten these down, we don't want to break the sensors. You can see how the flat edge of the of the uh, nut uh, fits and kind of sits against the plastic piece of the LEDs. So if that starts turning and putting a lot of stress and pressure on that plastic, it could break the plastic. So we don't want to do that. Um, and what I have here is a 3 16 nut driver. So I'm just going to hold this nut with my hand and tighten it just a little tiny bit. One quarter muscle power. See that nut start to turn? So it's pushing against the plastic. Um, so that's going to be good enough. Then we're going to take and use these screws. Come through here. Find our uh, nut uh, uh, hex driver. And we're going to put these in here. Okay, so go ahead and do this for all three line sensors, being very careful not to break them. And we're gonna we're gonna tighten these down. This can be you can put a little bit of half three quarter muscle on this one because you're not uh, uh, close to components. So there you go. That's how it should look. Do that for the other three. Okay, all three are mounted. Kind of just do a little wiggle test here, make sure they're not loose, and uh, make sure they're mounted to the correct side, that is the bottom here, the opposite side where the motors are mounted. And uh, I think that's all you need to check for those pieces. Here is the line tracking sensor inspection checklist. We're going to make sure the modules are mounted on the correct side of the car and that they are securely fastened.